morning and welcome to the Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason on this Wednesday. Happy hump day. Uh, got waiting on Fed minutes today. Jackson Hole starts tomorrow. The revision from the Labor Department. It has just come out. So we... It, just a few minutes ago we'll get you up to speed how many less jobs uh, did we actually i don't understand you know we we talk about you know the the technology right the the computer age and uh somehow we can't figure out how many jobs uh, were created out there it, it baffles the mind doesn't it 800-951-0592. That is our toll-free number. Of course, allamericangold.com uh, is the website. And so many things. You know, we probably don't talk about it enough. But, you know, we got the shopping cart out there. We've got our metals plan out there at allamericangold.com. IRA information. Uh, at allamericangold.com, not to mention articles, videos, uh, the vast majority of them uh, we never, ever talk about. But it's important, important stuff for you guys to know. Make sure uh, you're getting out there, keeping yourself educated at allamericangold.com. So I'm waiting for uh, more numbers to roll through here. But according to the government, we have created 818,000 fewer jobs than what they what than what they said. Uh, so this was a pretty big. We were anticipating a pretty big number. Uh, remember, up to a million uh, came in on the high side. 818,000 uh, consensus was for about 500,000 fewer jobs. Uh, that is, by the way, the largest revision going back to 2009. So this is this is even for the government, Jason. This is some pretty shoddy work here. Uh, that that's that's a lot of jobs uh, that they said were created that weren't created. You know, and think about it. I mean, it, it's a 12 month period. So you're you're like. That's 68,000 fewer jobs a month. I mean, that, that that's a big miss. About 30% of the jobs they said were created, they now say weren't created. And it's really hard to know what to do. I know this. They like the number, though, because this, again, will give uh, Jay Powell, the central bank, room to cut if they want to. The numbers will be whatever they need them to be, I guess, Joe. Right? I don't. Uh, right. I don't put a lot of stock in the numbers at all. But uh, yeah, you shuffle them around, make them look good. So when you make a decision, nobody criticizes. So on, on with the cuts, I guess. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what they do. So the biggest cut happened to be where people get paid the most money: professional and business services. 358,000 less jobs, uh, leisure and hospitality. So this is, you know, your your bartenders, your waiters, your waitresses, 150,000 less. Manufacturing, which they, they, they've been overstating manufacturing for a while, down 115,000. Transportation, down 109. Retail. Down 129,000. These were the revisions. Uh, Some head up. Private education and health services was 87,000 more. Warehousing workers up 56,000. And other services up 21. And the government was up 1,000. So that that kind of, that's all the numbers that we have. But we're, we're focusing in on was... How big was the revision going to be? I think, Jason, this is big enough. 818,000, uh, that's big enough to get them to uh, at least leave rate cuts on the table. Of course, we're going to get Fed minutes after gold closes today. So this afternoon, the Fed minutes will come out. It'll be interesting to see if there was talk about rate cuts 
in that meeting. And then, of course, the other big news tomorrow, we're going to get jobless claims. And then on Friday, Jay Powell talking at Jackson Hole. So we, we've got some important things coming up here over the next, let, let's say, 72 hours. And then, uh, well, we'll see what happens, Joe. I mean, uh, I, I, watching gold uh, going up uh, Friday, hitting 2,500. I don't know where it's at now. Did it, did it finally dip slightly below 2,500 is that where we're at now? No, actually. Well, the, no, it's back we up. We were right just at 2,500. Now we're back above. It's coming back now because of the, this number just came out a few minutes ago. Uh, but, again, it's a just gold is starting to add days. Clo- all these yep. days it closes above 2,500. Uh, th- that's what we're going to see. Now, the question's going to yep. be, are we going to challenge 2,600 this week? I think it'll depend on what the Fed minutes say this afternoon. Do we have a a, a jobless claims number, 230s, 240s? Anything above that would be even better. And then, of course, what Jay Powell says at the meeting in Jackson Hole, I think that's going to be indicative, right? Is he going to hint or suggest that get ready for rate cuts in September? And, of course, I think, you know, people are talking about a 50 basis point cut. Jason, I just don't see that. I, I don't. Unless they want to say, hey, you know what, we're going to cut 50 basis points because we don't want to cut again during the election cycle. Maybe. I doubt. I think we're going to get 25. We'll wait and see. Anything about any hit about more than 25? Yeah, you're going to see, right, dollar weakness and, and higher gold prices. Patriot News Hour will be back right after the break. Oh, by the way, the silver sales coming. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason on this Wednesday, we've got another silver spectacular show. We got some cool silver coins, uh, you know, from last week, uh, and then we just got got some outrageous deals. That's all coming up next. I, I'll just tell everybody when they're gone, they're gone. Period. And I know that a, a lot of people are like, well, I, hey, I want to wait. I want to wait. I want to wait and, you know, hear what Joe and Jason have to say about this or that. Today's probably a day you can't wait, right? So if you hear something, you're like, I want it, call, get it, get it put away. If we come up with another item later in the show, because listen, this may be a two-shower. I don't know. We'll see how it, how we get through this. You can always call again and add, but don't wait because chances are they're going to be. This 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 happened last week. A lot of people, uh, even when they didn't wait, they were still gone. Right? That that that's how quickly it be. So get ready. Just be ready for that. Uh, but before we get into it, let's look at the markets. So pretty calm right now. Uh, the Dow. Uh, was down. Uh, now it's up 15 points. Like I said, because the 818,000 less jobs. Now you got to remember that was from April of last year to March of this year. If you take and say, okay, that probably means we had 68,000 less jobs in April, May, June, July, August. Right? I mean, you're getting to the point. If that was, if that held true. Remember, August's number was barely over 100,000. You take 68,000 jobs away, hey, all of a sudden, we're talking about a different thing, right? We may be talking about a 50 basis point rate cut if they had said, hey, we only created 40,000 jobs in August, as an example. But I just want to throw that out there. Wall Street calm right now. Dow's up 15, S&P's up 15, NASDAQ's up 60. The 10-year note, no surprise here, lower Right, because that was a big number, three seven nine. Crude oil a little higher. By the way, crude inventories down again. Um, crude's at seventy three, which I think is a gift, uh, considering how low the inventories are. Uh, the lowest going back to to February. Uh, gold's off about eight bucks here, twenty five oh five. Uh, on gold, silver's higher right now, 
uh, just a couple of cents here, just below 29 and a half. So just below 29 and a half on silver as we continue to wait. Well, like I said, Fed minutes at the end of, of the right, right, right as Wall Street's going to close. Gold will be closed uh, when these Fed minutes come out. We'll see what they have to say there. But remember about diversification. Think about this number today. Are you kidding me? That's the best we could do. And we're supposed to be making decisions about the economy and uh, the stock market. And, and, of course, they tell us, hey, oh, this is where you have to have your money. Uh, and they can't even get in the ballpark. I mean, 68,000, that was the average, 68,000 less jobs a month. That's huge. Get more diversified, period. You know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. Everybody on TV, everybody knows it's going to happen. What we don't know is when. How much time? How much more time do we have? This number, this revision today, that took some time away. It did. Sorry, but it did. I don't know when it's going. I think it's 2025. I think the avalanche comes. But I hope I'm wrong. But you need to be way more diversified, especially especially if you were diversified during the financial crisis. This thing's going to be bigger. just is. Check out our friends at Y-Refi. If you got $50,000 or more, especially if you got it in your bank account, you got it in your money market account, oh, my gosh, that's they've got a lock on that money. You got an IRA. You can use an, an IRA. Some of you can use a 401k. Up to 10.25% fixed rate of return, not correlated to Wall Street. I'll take that every day of the week. InvestYRefi.com. That's the word invest, the letter Y, R E F Y.com. Or just call them. That's the easiest thing. 888 YRefi24. So let's get into it. Let's get into the silver spectacular that we have. We're going to start off this, the first handful of items that we're going to discuss. All of these are going to be below cost and well below cost. We've got two 100-ounce silver bars. They're in Fort Lupton. They're in Colorado. Jason has these all of this stuff we have, by the way. Everything that we're going to put on today, we've got it. Two 100-ounce silver bars. And, Jason, these are nice ones, correct? Nope, you got it. Royal Canadian Mint. Royal Canadian Mint. Same ones they sell at Costco, except for the, at Costco they do the 10-ounce bars. These are 100-ounce Royal Canadian Mint. So these are absolutely top of the line for the the non-silver and gold radio listener, the uh, the ones that just happened to see me at Costco, probably pick these up. That's what these are, but really big. Cost, just under 30 bucks is cost. Then you got to, like, you know, you know got to make some money, right? So you, you're looking at probably retail-wise, 3200 would be a good retail price, 3100 no, $2,800. So essentially a dollar and a half under melt, under spot here. We've only got two. That's it. We don't free have silver. Three, four, we got two. It's, it's free silver, Joe. It's free silver, basically. A dollar fifty under spot. You're you're getting free silver. Dollar fifty under spot. Come in, pick it up, take it home with you. You got a great new doorstop, if nothing else. One hundred and fifty dollars in free silver. A hundred ounces times one and a half ounces. There you go. How's that sound? One hundred and fifty dollars in free silver. If you're going right at spot, so very easy, very easy thing to want to buy if you got uh, uh, that kind of money for silver. We've got thirty six mint state sixty four pre nineteen twenty one Morgan dollars. They're seventy dollars a piece. That is twelve dollars below cost. 
So if I if I, if I was had to buy these today, I got to pay eighty two dollars. And you know, hey, then we got to we got to put a mark on this. This is a ninety dollars. This is ninety dollars. A lot of places probably a hundred dollars. No, seventy bucks. We we've got thirty six. I've got ten Mint State sixty three Morgans. Also below cost at fifty five dollars a piece. We've only got ten. I've got four of the Mint State sixty five Morgans. Remember we ran those last time, man, those blew out. Uh thirty dollars below cost, but I've only got four of them at a hundred and twenty five dollars. And then, uh, and we've got a ton more stuff, but I want to focus in. We have one more Carson City set. This is a nine coin set. Uh, you guys will remember last week we did, th- these did not last very long. We're going to sell this as a set. So there's nine dates here Mint State 63. Carson City set. In this set, it's a little different than the set from last week. You have the 1878. It's a pretty nice coin. You've got 1880, 1881. Those are better date Carson Cities. 1882, 1883, 1884. Those are probably, I would consider those the common date Carson cities. Didn't you have some of the uh, these harder date coins to get? 1885, 1890. But the gem in this set, so the, remember last week's, uh, last week said the other, the, the ninth coin was the 1891. It's one of the better dates. This one. It's the 1880-79 coin. This was kind of one of those little weird deals that went on at the Carson City Mint. Uh, That is kind of the crown jewel in this set. So you got 1878. uh, Let's call that 1879, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. And then the 1890 $5,850. I've been doing this, but what year is this? 20, almost 21, 22 years. I've never had a set like this ever. We did it last week for the first time. This week, we'll probably never get it again. Just so you know, how did we get this? This, this, this ended up being an inheritance. There was multiple family members. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, they bought a lot of crap off TV and all that stuff. So this is these won't come by. We're not going to get these again. I don't anticipate seeing them again. Uh, we had two of the three family members come in last week. This one came in this week. And, and, but this, Jason, this is it for the family members. So we, we probably won't see Carson cities like this and not in a set like this. They, you know, well, I don't know, maybe another 22 years. Maybe it'll happen again. Uh, but right now, that's where we're going to start. We got plenty more to, to get to. But these are the ones, I, I love all of these deals because you're, you're talking about below cost. Nobody in their right mind is going to sell this Carson City set for $5,850. This is not. Right? I mean, a, a, a good dealer is probably going to want $7,500, uh, up to ten grand for this. Great opportunity here. The 100-ounce silver bars, the graded Morgans, all of them well below cost. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two, and yeah, little by little, here comes here comes silk. So we're now up nine, right? Gold's now uh, twenty five ten now, right? So gold's only down a few dollars. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see a, a higher price uh, because of the revisions in jobs today coming in on the high side. Eight hundred. And 18,000 fewer jobs. And the problem is, if you take that same math, because that only went through March, 
and you start applying it to, to the August number, the July number, the June number, Jason, all of a sudden, is it possible that we had prints of less than 100,000 jobs being created? And I think that's going to get people at least excited about the fact that they think the Fed's going to be cutting rates in September. And now the question's going to be, are they going to hint at it? And are they going to hint at multiple rate cuts? Uh, Those are the things that the market's going to look for. Just in time to keep the markets happy uh, straight through this election cycle. It's just just enough. It's just enough, right, Joe? It's it's almost like it's a, it's it's a head fake specifically to keep things smooth. So because you know here's the thing: the Fed doesn't want to be blamed for tilting the election in any direction. They want to steer clear of that, right, Joe? They they want to make sure that whatever happens, so called out of their control, uh, has has nothing to do with their policies so uh yeah they could have they could have cut this right in july right they, they could have done this already but uh, they didn't want the blowback i mean what's going to happen if they go uh, a quarter point and decide to do another quarter point or if they do 50 basis points in september what if the inflation comes and the, infl- and the inflation won't happen immediately right joe it'll take a little while it'll lag so they got it all yep. timed out i will update you on what's available Call now, 800-951-0592. we got one line open. Jump in and grab. 800-951-0592. The cool coin sale continues. Uh, Quick update. The 200-ounce silver bars are gone. Uh, Those are gone. The Carson City set, gone. Uh, there's still some MS64 Morgan, pre-21 Morgans uh, at $70. That's $12 below. All these are below cost. Forget about retail cost. Uh, MS63 Morgan's got a few of those at $55. The the 60 MS65 Morgan's at $125. I still got those four. Now, let's let's what else do we have? I've got seven rolls of Canadian maple leaves. Now, the Canadians, they're weird. Uh, you know, eh? they put 25 ounces in these rolls. So there's 25 ounces, $750. And I'll do the math for you. That's 30 bucks. That's below cost. You, you know, you, you're sitting here silver at... Uh, Twenty nine silver now up thirteen cents right here you know twenty nine fifty five heck twenty nine fifty six by the end of the day uh, you may be getting these at, at melt right so I've only got seven rules I know that's not a lot there's seven hundred and fifty dollars we've got seven of them then we've got fifty ms seventy. So, by the way, what does that mean, MS? Mint state. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, 70 is perfect. So in coin grading, the grades are 60 to 70. So seven, there is nothing better than 70. As far as mint state. Right. This is the best mint state grade there is. These are U.S. Silver Eagles 2023. They're in their little holder. First day of issue. And this was very the TV guys, right? They they loved this stuff. Thirty dollars. What? What? Yeah, you heard me. Thirty dollars. I've only got fifty of them. Uh, just so you know, cost on on, on a, a silver twenty twenty three silvery just cost is like thirty three dollars. I mean, that's his cost. So, uh, 30 bucks, Mint State 70, Silver Eagles. If you're looking for something cool, this is, this is it. This is, this is what uh, you're looking for. Then, last but not least for this segment, still got more stuff. I've got two. Mint State 69. Silver Eagle sets. 
the first 33 years. 1986 through 2018. So you get one coin for every year from 1986 through 2018. All the coins in the 80s, in the 90s, I mean, there were, you know, small fortunes, right? The, 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 the 1996 coin alone is probably worth, I don't even know, 80, 90, 100 dollars, right? The 97, the 95, the 94, right? All, all, all of these coins. It's $1,200 a set. I've got two sets. That puts your, just put your cost at like $36 uh, in change. Yeah, 36 36 a coin. Jason, it, 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 it's every one of the Silver Eagles probably up through, I don't know, maybe all of them are worth more than that, right? And, you know, especially in, in Mid-State 69. Yeah, great at mid state sixty nine. So you, you know you get the little extra bells and whistles. You know, obviously collecting them in the tube and putting them away is, is the easiest way to do so. But you know, sometimes it's nice to have something that you can pull out when you're trying to explain to your friends and family. You got to buy silver. These are the coins you would pull out and say, "Hey, look this this is what I'm getting." Right? Yeah. Now, yep. now usually it's in the tube, but you know what? Check this out, and then you see all the years. You get the whole set. It's it's that's that's a, that's a lower price than I would have gone basically. Yeah, Jason tried to talk me into Joe. That's too cheap. He, he did. He said. He, he said we should sell it for more. And I said, hey, th- th- this is the spectacular sale. This is something where uh, you know doing these date sets is a pain in the butt, man. It, it, it really is to, to get all of these dates in there. Uh, but but there's just some really cool opportunities. Listen, there's only one phone line open. I will. I'm going to stop there for now. We'll throw a few more items on on the next segment. But going into this, we had some of the graded Morgans left. Those are great deals. I mean, just every one of those is so far below cost. It's incredible. Uh, the, the rolls of Canadian Maple Leafs, essentially at melt, right? I mean, what a great deal. How about the 50 MS-70 Silver Eagles below melt? Well, at belt, 30 bucks, right? 30 bucks. Why? Because I, I'm, I'm lazy and I figured 32 $33, that's too hard of a math that I didn't want to charge 35 uh, So get in line, get your orders ready. Of course, the two MS69 sets, that's just cool. That's just super cool. 800 951 Zero five nine two, and, and you know you think about where we're heading here, and remember, you know, Bank of America. Uh, what was it last week? All of a sudden, now the lack of silver inventory is going to matter. Uh, and talking about twenty twenty five, in in the dangers that could we have a day. Could we have a day where the silver market doesn't function properly? In other words, uh, the demand is just overwhelming the supply. Uh, Bank of America warning now that, hey, it's getting it's getting ugly. Look at what China is doing with silver. Telling the miners, we'll buy your unrefined silver. Don't even bother putting it into the 1,000-ounce bars, but we'll pay you like you did because they don't want it to get to the market. By the way, all the lines are lit right now. We'll get to you in the order that you called. The girls are, are... Getting things together here. Just be patient. Uh, if, if you missed out on something uh, that you wanted to get, grab one of the other deals. We've got plenty of deals out there. The Silver Spectacular. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after. 800 951 
Uh, I apologize. Uh, the phones are going uh, just absolutely crazy. Uh, just continue to, to hold. We just got a few lines to open back up. Uh, at last look, I have one of the MS-69 sets left. Okay, I got one of those left. Not sure how many of these MS-70s uh, that are left. The MS-70 first day of issue, Silver Eagles at $30. Uh, the rolls of Canadian Maple Leafs, we got a few of those left. At $750. Um, and and I'll, I'll get an update. Everything is going to... Listen, none of this is going to be left by the end of the day. So... Jump on it. You hear something you like, get on it. Um, I've got 12. These are mixed rolls of Morgan and Peace dollars. These are circulated. Okay. So what does that mean? Now, that means they're toned. They were used. But they're, they're not worn flat. Uh, but they're not. Hey, these are not the AU, BU coins uh, that we sold last week. But I've got 12 mixed rolls. It's all about price. This is a great price. All below cost again. $540 for a mixed roll of Morgan and Peace dollars. Uh, I've only got 12 of those. And these are circulated, so they're they're gonna be nice and great. They're not called, they're not to complete hold or messed up, but they're they're not pretty. Let's just say that. But they yeah. they are yeah. uh, Morgan and P- Mo- most of these are peace dollars, by the way. Mo- the majority of these are peace dollars, and they're uh, they're just nice old silver dollars, Joe. Circulated. Right. A circulated peace dollar is twenty eight bucks my cost, so it's below cost. Circulated Morgan dollar, that's thirty bucks. So yeah, you're, you're gonna get great deals uh and then the last silver item that i have i've got 25 rolls of silver eagles at 685 dollars today uh which is the only item that's barely above cost so uh but uh, believe me you're not gonna get a silver eagle any for uh 685 dollars anywhere out there 800 951 Zero five nine two. We got graded Morgans below cost. We got Canadian Maple Leafs below cost. We've got MS seventy Silver Eagles below cost. Date sets below cost. Well, we got one left. Right now is probably a good time to get in because there's only one line open, and the girls have been able to catch their breath. But I want to, you know what? We got to talk about the little news today. Did you see? We're starting to get this platform from the Democrats. Did you see what Kamala Harris wants to do now? Huge tax increase. It's coming. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. There's no way around it. Watch the the new tax proposal for capital gains. 44.6%. What? Yeah. Oh, you had stock market gains? I want half. But it gets worse. This is ridiculous. And they keep talking about it. So you know what's going to happen at some point. 25% tax on unrealized gains. That, I mean, you want to crash the stock market? (laughs) Put that in there, right? I mean, who thinks of these things? That screams gold and silver. All, all that is is that just screams gold and silver. Because uh, everything else, there's some record, Joe, isn't there? There's a, it's almost every single thing out there has some record of, of purchase or sale. If we get digital currency, it'll be even worse. Uh, 25%. Uh, if you don't know what an unrealized gain is, it means you're holding an asset, and they've decided it's worth more than what you paid for it, and they tax you on it. And Joe, is that a one? Here's the other thing. Here's what makes. Who cares about the twenty five percent, which is bad enough? Is this a yearly thing, like a property tax? Are they going to hit you with unrealized gains year after year, so that you just yep. relinquish it? You end up having an asset worth nothing if you have to pay. It, it, let's just say ten percent a year. If you pay a ten percent realized gain, 
how fast did your how much inflation are they looking at by by putting this in place? Because if you have a ten percent unrealized gain annual, that means your asset has to gain more than ten percent just to hold this is, value. Well, th- 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 this is a twenty five percent tax, right? On any, so l- l- here is what they're, this is. I, I don't understand. Let's just say you bought Apple stock, okay? And let's just say it was $100 when you bought. And Apple stock closes out the year at $125. You hadn't, you didn't sell it. You didn't Warren Buffett it. What's my, you think Warren Buffett would be happy? Oh, you just sold uh, $9 billion worth of Apple stock? Well, we want half. Right. Well, we, we want 44.6% of your profits. Thank you. No, but you didn't sell. Guess what they're going to tell you? We want 25% of the $25. And could you imagine if you bought, I don't know, 1,000 shares? Could you imagine what that... T- they, Jason, that will actually force people... People will have to sell some of the stock... Just to pay the tax. And then when they sell that stock, all the the stock you sold, we want 44%. This is insanity. You'll own nothing and be happy, I guess, right? (laughs) There's there's an economic shift coming. I mean, uh, here's the thing. A lot of times when they announce these things out out loud, they usually don't think they're going to pass it right away. They're just preparing you for what's inevitably going to happen, Joe. That's it. Hey, this isn't going to, I don't think this passes in 2025, but guess what? 2027, 28, 20, yeah, it's coming. Just understand what's coming. Hey, the radio news, oh my gosh, the phone lines are open. Get them, baby. 800-951-0592. Got uh, two lines open. Uh, really quickly, the 200-ounce silver bars, gone. The Carson City set, gone. The MS-70 Silver Eagles, gone. The MS-69 Silver Eagle date sets, gone. Uh, we have one roll of Maple Leafs left at 750. Uh, we have less, well, the 64 Morgans are almost all gone. Get those there at, at $70. Uh, we've got... 10 Min State 63 Morgans at $55. Uh, we got a couple of the MS65 Morgans. That's a great deal at $125, uh, well below cost. Uh, the, these mixed rolls of Morgan and Peace dollars, if you want it, you got to call now. Uh, 800 951 And then rolls of U.S. Silver Eagles. We got about 20. Two rolls left right now. The last, okay, all the phone lines are open, so here's your chance. $685. I mean, these are, well, what are they? $735. Bucks. What am I doing? I'm insane. $685. Scoop them up while you can, um, and then I'll throw in one other ride. I was going to wait for this one for tomorrow, but I'm going to do it today. I've got a roll of 10th ounce. British kings and queens. Tenth ounce gold eagles, we're always the cheapest around, and they're over 300 bucks. Tenth ounce British kings and queens, they're $275. You heard it right, $275. These are all kings. So these are these are all kings or 2023. All, kings, all, kings. all 2023, yep. If you want the whole roll, 13700 and fifty dollars. I mean that. That's just. Uh, it's just a great opportunity because you know, like a roll of ten thousand is going to be over fifteen grand. You know, so uh, British Kings ten ounce two seventy five. So I don't. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. But uh, this is this is just kind of what happens. We 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 collect this stuff and uh, we pick certain days and and let's just blow it all out uh, and, and get it sold. 
and Arizona hasn't even heard this show yet, so this will almost all be Colorado customers. You guys are buying it all. Uh, obviously, whatever's left, Arizona will probably scoop it up in the next hour. Uh, I do stay late on Friday, so all this stuff is here. So as soon as the uh, the, the ladies in Arizona get all the, uh, the invoices set up and get them to me, sometime today and tomorrow I'll start calling you guys in. Uh, my latest day that I stay is usually Fridays because I kind of wind the week up by getting all the odds and ends. All the stuff that the ladies get done in Arizona, that's what I do on Friday. Friday, you know the packaging of this, rolling of that, and throwing this out, and and uh, but I usually stay a little later. So if you need to get off work at four or five o'clock, I'm usually here, and you guys can come pick this stuff up this week. You can buy this stuff and come in and, and get it. Uh, essentially, if things move fast enough, I can almost set you up today, but definitely Thursday and Friday, Joe, you can pick this stuff up. And uh, man, cheap silver, Joe. Oh uh, boy, just like that. There's only two lines open again. Eight hundred. Make that one line. Eight hundred. 9510592 mixed rolls of Morgan and Peace they're not the prettiest but hey below cost $540 US silver eagles at 685 that's $50 off you're welcome uh, I'm, I'm assuming the maple leaves probably are gone at that the, the 750 uh, the British Kings 10th ounce 275 Right. That's a great price. Morgan, 55. I mean, gosh, it's incredible. Great, great sale again today. 800 951